that's the only thing that would never uh, straighten out the situation. There's got to be some white people who can think and say that this is not right, you know. Right. To, to act human, act like humans and understand. Right. And, uh, and these he, are our fellow humans. His, right, right. He put his neck on the line because, of course, the rest, I mean, they just disown him, you know, and, and they were mad at him because he stood up for uh, a black guy. But he said it's not right, you know, and uh, and I had a little trouble with that uh, later on because I had a Christian upbringing and in the army, they uh, you know, they teach you how to kill and, and mm -hmm. ways of killing and right. they say, now what they do. we will feed you, we're going to feed you and give you a place to stay and clothes to wear. In return, you kill whoever we tell you to kill without question. Right, that's, and that's... I, I had problems, I had problems with that because being a Christian, I was taught to love everybody you know we're all created by god we're all god's children and i would never want to pick up arms against my fellow man you know right right and and i i don't i didn't have the nerve at that time to do what muhammad ali did right. when but... he, he 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 said look if you you want to kill me because i i, I i'm not going to shoot civilians and children and just because you tell me to do it he said and i'm ready to die well i i didn't have that kind of courage but i went to to the the chat with that problem i said you know you right. you're a chaplain this is against what i believe in in my heart yeah right right yeah. why should why should I go out and fight a war and somebody, the, the only people fighting the war is us and the, the people we're fighting and we're always in their country. They're not right. here right. in our country trying to take, we're in their country doing this. Right, you know? you're not I fighting for your land that. or fighting for your, yeah, I, right? I had your... problems, yeah. And it doesn't so make they sense. Told me so. It doesn't make sense, but, you're absolutely right. You, right, right. And they told me, say, well, you could, you can be a medic then. And <laughs> what we do, we'll put you. It, there's a movie called Hacksaw Ridge. I think that probably explains it better than than I could, you know. But it's the story of a person who was in my position. I had conscious, yeah, I uh, conscious objections to protect to. Um, <laughs> But I didn't see us going to somebody else's country fighting. And that makes total why, sense why, to me. Yeah, why are we killing people in the country? Well, because if we don't kill them, they'll kill us, you know. But you're in their I, country. I, it's it's I very... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a strong, what a strong person. Yeah, and but, it's beautiful. But I was, I was, I was, I was lucky because I was in between the two wars. I was right, I did my time right after the Korean War and just before, before the, the Vietnam. Vietnam War. So I didn't have to kill anybody, oh, but I, I wasn't going to be a medic because that that means that you were right there where the bombs were falling yep. and you had to go and drag the, the, the people who were blown mm -hmm. half and two yes, it's... to safety. And they take your weapon from you. Couldn't even shoot back. It's bar it's it's barbaric. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just glad I got through that. You know, I am too. It's it's unbelievable how many people. It seems so obvious. Don't question. You know, when I when I raise my children, I have always taught them, and it's so counter to what so many believe. I I, I don't know why more people don't do this. Cause it seems obvious. See, you don't hurt people who are having problems, or you help them. You don't. Right. You don't shoot right. them. You people who are having drug problems or uh, criminal problems. You don't just slam the door. You help the people. That's what you do. You don't punish them. You 
help them. You don't kill them. It's a, it's like, I don't get it. So I wouldn't do well. I, I wouldn't get, have done well yeah. either. <laughs> My kids won't because they, they you, won't. You've heard of, of, of the, the, the melee uh, thing yeah, over in Vietnam. Of course. The, the massacre over there where uh, we were given orders to, to murder civilians, you know, and children and stuff like that. I do, I do. And, and a lot of the soldiers, I never will forget, I was looking at TV and that came on as a news flash. And this was Lieutenant Callie was the one who gave the order, but he received his orders from Captain Medina and the way the Army of the Armed Service works whoever you get your order from you have to if you're going to be a good soldier you, right. you have to obey your you order follow orders, right. or or you will die they will kill you yeah. uh, under combat if you don't if right. you don't follow the command then you get a bullet in your head by the guy that gave you the order you know right. and it may let a lot of the soldiers mostly black soldiers because they're more sympathetic they lived through the slavery and they they know about that right. they were actually shooting themselves in in the leg or in the arm so they would not have to to do that you know i believe and it so it's, it, it, yeah some things are unconscionable and, yeah and i love america I, you know, I, 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 I'm one of the kids that grew up uh, watching Lone Ranger and Roy Rogers. I, I got a chance to meet Roy Rogers later on, but I, I grew up in the waving the flag, and, you know, and I love America. Yeah. And I, I think that we can be the country we're supposed we, we're, we're not there yet. You know, I feel the same way. I, I just as a lay person, I, you know, I feel the same way. And when people often look at me and say, you I get everything. You just hate America. It's it's like, no, the opposite. I believe in our country. It's the opposite. That's I believe right. in our country. We can do better. We can create right. a more perfect union. And and right. I'm trying to encourage people to do better. You can be a better human and, and together a better society and a better culture and people just don't get it and, and, it's... and we will and it looks like god is working with us because he's forcing with the survivors that's come out you know people don't have time to play the games now you know as uh, uh everybody's segregated now you know yeah. that the space you know uh the money doesn't mean so much now when when if every, half the people are dead there's nobody to work what good is people uh, just don't a get it billion dollars going to do you, you when know. your loved ones are dying right. around you it's like and there's nothing people just right. it's almost like we don't have our values right we've we've just strayed with this capitalism as a as a lifestyle rather than an economic uh, policy with with balances it's like it's gone too far almost <laughs> yeah, it's gone too far it's and too far. the good people people like you <laughs> uh you. and and myself we we've got to get together and and try to to, to straighten things out you know you know because nobody should be walking around hating somebody else because They've got a different paint job, you know. <laughs> They're melanated time. skin, right? It's, you know what? To be honest with you, Billy, when I think about this, that people actually wish harm upon other people because of the tone of their skin, I think this is insane. It just, I don't know why. I can't normalize it in any way, shape, or form. It's that's absolutely crazy it's you yes. know they're humans just it's like oh my god so it's just it's really hard and, in and 2020 it's yeah. like and i i just the answer is love I, I, the, as simple as that and i believe if anybody was 
closer to the truth, it was Dr. King, you know, the dream that he had to mm -hmm. see white children and black children growing up playing together and, and caring for each other. Is that too much to ask, you know?